This video is brought to you by my friends at Thrive Fantasy, the daily fantasy sports app for player props. Use promo code TUGI when you sign up today, and you'll receive a 100% instant first deposit match up to $100, plus two free contest entries when you deposit at least $10. Download Thrive Fantasy on the App Store, the Play Store, or by visiting their website at www.thrivefantasy.com. Sign up and prop up today. Oh, everybody, everybody, let's make it official, shall we? We're doing this. Draft of Glory is back by popular demands. A lot of different ways that this particular challenge could have been brought back. Again, I have not done anything Draft of Glory related uh, for a very long time. I need to clear out my test files here really quickly. Uh, I have not done anything Draft of Glory related. Uh, since NHL 21, because again, if you will remember, I went to do the Pittsburgh Penguins series in NHL 21, and EA deleted my rosters. And then, uh, all we could really do was draft a glory style stuff for the rest of the year. And as fun as that is, it can also suck ass. Uh, as I'm pretty sure my Montreal save file got deleted because I made too many test files, so thanks EA, GG. Uh, <laughs> But it's been a couple of months. We're in a new year. It's literally 2022 now, as great as that is. And we are going to use the team, again, that we have never used before. There are only nine teams, I do believe, uh, if not less, that I have never done a franchise mode with. And I was torn. Do we do a real franchise with them? Do we just do a draft of glory with them? But we are indeed going to do a draft of glory with them. It will be... One of our favorite challenges, Draft to Glory with the Calgary Flames, in which we will only be able to draft players from the Albertan WHL teams. That means the Calgary Hitmen, the Edmonton Oil Kings, Lethbridge Hurricanes, Medicine Hat Tigers, and the Red Deer Rebels. Those will be the five teams that we are allowed to draft from. Now the question is, how do we handle who's on the roster now, right? Like that's always the question. How do you wanna, how do you wanna handle stuff like that? Um, and honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't really want to blow up the team and trade for as many draft picks as we possibly can. That is certainly an idea. Uh, normally, we spark this team by uh, <laughs> making them as bad as possible. It's kind of the inverse of how we normally start a draft to glory. I normally make the team as bad as I possibly can to ensure us top draft odds. It's almost more interesting if we don't have the best draft odds right out of the gates, if you think about it. Like, knowing that it'll take us a little bit of time to uh, make sure that we have top draft odds. Hell, we could win a cup with the team that we currently have or that we currently start with. That creates its own little interesting scenario. So what we are going to do, uh, waivers will be on, trade difficulty will be on hard, I'm not going to be allowed to make trades anyway. Draft pick ownership, I will keep on authentic, because why not? Computer trades, we're going to turn off until the deadline to stop the AI from being dumb. It's pretty much the, uh, the only justification I have for that. Let's stop the AI from being dumb. It is easier said than done. Uh, retired jersey to find. Morale meetings will be off, of course. Trade offer notifications we will turn off. Waiver notifications we will turn off. Head coach firing. Eh, head coach firing is pretty unimportant to us. When it comes to this, I am going to be turning the draft class quality down for the first couple of years because, of course, we've added in prospects. And uh, for the hell of it, let's start off with scoring on high. Both scoring and shot frequency, uh, and we'll adjust it from there. So there could be some very, very high scoring seasons to kick things off. Uh, I'm also going to turn auto-rotate goalies off for now. So let's have a little bit of fun. We'll have it be a little bit silly, silly season to kick things off. And the only thing that I want to do... Yes, I do leave injuries on, which I don't mind. We're going to bump those down to about a, a grand old 20 one more time. And the only other thing I want to do, again, I am still messing with a custom slider set here. Um, very, very close, though, to siding with this one and having this be the one. 
Uh, and again, when I eventually make that decision and make that call that it's finalized, there will be that video out there. Oh boy, Calgary and the Albertan teams, huh? Can't wait for uh, Martin Furk to win the Rocket Richard. He might. So again, we did just finish customizing uh, these rosters, prepping it for that new roster update. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And let me just double check over here, because again, typically there are some things that it doesn't let you change. Which is bullshit. Bullshit indeed. All right, good. Penalty time scaling is maxed out. Everything looks good. Oh boy. So yeah, maybe we just run with the Calgary Flames and slowly but surely we will uh, just let parts drift away from this team. Because that way we can at least see what this Flames team can do. In season one, I'm not going to change any of our staff, but I will obviously change where our scouts are assigned to. Uh, wow, it gave me a really good scouting department right out of the gates. Okay. I, I don't hate that. It's going to take a little bit to switch everybody over. But yeah, I think we'll just wait and see what this Calgary team can actually do. And like I said, like Johnny Goodrow, end of the year, his contract's up. We'll just let him go. And this way too, we still kind of have cap whales like Milan Lucic to hold the, you know, to hold things down for the season. So, oh, it's gonna take a little bit to switch everything over. But what are you gonna do, Nighthawk? What's up, by the way? All right, that leaves us with a couple of scouts in the W. I really, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? I have an answer to this. I have an answer to this. I only want the A grade scouts anyway. I only want the A's anyway. You're gone. If you don't have an A letter, get out. I don't want you here. I don't want the information you can provide. We're clearing house. We're clearing house. That is the best way to do it. This is much faster. Why you can't just change the region from here and just like click Y and then not have to go to the map? I have no idea. <sighs> it's one of those things about this game that I don't quite understand why we have to have 17,000 menus for everything, but hey, you do you. So the season one, Calgary Flames. Markstrom and Vlad are in goal. Dustin Wolf in the AHL, who we will eventually let go of, which is going to be a damn shame. The defense, Tanev and Hannafin. Anderson, Sheelington, Zadorov, Good Branson. We will send Yusuf Valamaki down. And uh, we'll call up Michael Stone. Why not? We'll call up Michael Stone, have him kind of be the seventh man. That defense starts off pretty decently, and then it drops to Eric Goodbranson. Calgary or Calgary? I mean, however you prefer. We'll go with that. Uh, and forward-wise, Walker Dooler. I'm going to send you down. And, you know, I might honestly try to set this up the same way we've set up other franchises, keeping people within their proper positions, so on and so forth. Not that I want to play Brett Ritchie, but we'll we'll see what happens here in terms of that specific goal. Yeah, for the most part, the forwards are intact. For the most part, they are intact. So let's take a look then. The NHL side of things. Obviously, that top line is going to be ridiculous. Why the AI just wouldn't put Manchapani on the other side, though, I have no idea. So Pitlick and Lewis have to play the right. Richie has to play uh, the right-hand side, so we'll probably move him. Who is Brett Richie in the lineup for? Dylan Dubé. Okay, well, obviously, we want Dylan Dubé in the lineup. Uh, easiest way to do that is going to be to move Blake Coleman over. And honestly, as uh, quick and easy as that is, I think that's our team. Goodrow, Lindholm, Manjapani, Kachuk, Monahan, Dubé, Coleman, Backlund, Pitlick, Lucic, Richardson, Lewis. Mm. It starts much like the uh, defense. It starts off so strong, and then it turns into that. Hopefully that top line can dominate. Uh, the defensive side of things is good. We will run Zadorov and Goodbranson together. Because why the hell not? It's really the best answer. So, I mean, Lucic is technically a third liner on the fourth line. 
will allow it, let's be honest. I mean, we have too many first liners anyway. Um, we'd have to totally like, butcher this team to be able to fit within the roles. But as we develop this team, we'll fit within the roles. And the Stockton Heat for the season. Dustin Wolf, the starter. Let's be honest, Tyler Parsons, Greenfield, it doesn't matter. They all, they all suck. Uh, and defensively... Oh, God. Can we take out Andy Walensky for anybody? No, we can't. Left-hand side. I mean, Connor Mackey's not that important. Lurby is 24 and not that good. Solovioff's 21. Not that good. Pullman's 25. All right. Jan Kuznetsov's 19. We'll get Jan Kuznetsov in there. Bob Alamaki really doesn't work well with anybody, does he? Cool. We'll get Jeremy Poirier in that top unit, then. I think we're good. Gonna double check these forwards. Locker Doer. Kirkland's not that important to us. Glenn Godden. Okay, we do have a couple of centers. Mark Sim Oh, Mark Simpson, the hockey smile, by the way. Good on him. Uh, Dimitri Azavgarodny, we're probably gonna want in the lineup. Luke Phillips, 25, so it doesn't really matter. And then Glenn Godden. Man, Glenn Godden's 24 already, huh? That is shocking. We got a chance to run Alex Gallant as an enforcer. Screw it. That's the team. That's the team. We'll run with it. So the season one, Calgary Flames, they are intact. We're not going to immediately blow them up like we normally do. Uh, because let's be honest, I don't really want to deal with... Uh, I don't really want to deal with trying to pick apart this team. And obviously with all the work I put into the custom rosters, I don't want to immediately fantasy draft it. It's kind of the reason for that. But I like knowing that we're not going to immediately be garbage and automatically have top odds, you know? It's, it's positive. Battle of Alberta to start off the season as well. Um, I do want to take a look at what the lines look like for Season 1. So we're going to quickly breeze through this. Again, for those watching on Twitch, you can always check the VOD uh, later on to see these or wait until it's up on YouTube so that you can pause and take a look at this. Um, but I just kind of want to get a look at what the lines are going to look like for teams this year. Including Drysdale being on the third pairing. Stolarz and Gibson, the goalies. Uh, Bobby Ryan, signed with Anaheim. That's awesome. That's awesome. But yeah, they have Elite 2C, Sam Carrick. <laughs> uh, the Coyotes are Kessel Schmaltz, Keller, Kraus Boyd, Larson, Ladd, Nash, Fisher, Roussel, Hayton, Jaskin. Oh my god, that team sucks. Oh, they're so bad. Chicken Strawman, Gostas Barely Abushkin, Timmins and Mayo. Obviously Wedgwood and Vimalka, which, oh my god. The Zingo Gatchenik and oh, Louie. Oh, Louie is a scratch. Bruins are Marshawn, Bergeron, Pasternak, Hall, Felino, Bleed. Bleed on the second. Okay. Okay, EA. You do you. Frederick Lazar, Smith, DeBrusque, Nosek, Coil. The AI sucks. God, the AI sucks. They really do need to fix that for 23. Uh, Riley McAvoy, people will be pissed at the overalls. I don't give a shit. Chris Carlo, Forbert Clifton, obviously Tuca, and Allmark, Saboro Halla. Sabres are Olafson, Middlestat, Tuck, Skinner, Cousins, Hina, Stroza, Tage Thompson on the fourth line with Rasmus Aspen and Kyle Poza. Uh, Darlene Miller, Bryson Pissick, Butcher, Yoki Haru, Craig Anderson, and Dustin Tokarski in goal. We got Haig, Eakin, Jankowski. Will the Bruins wave the Borals soon? Well, he tore his ACL, so probably not. Carolina, Jarvis, Aho, Teravainen, Svechnikov, Natchez, Niederreiter, Stahl, Trotrick, Foss, Kakaniemi, Martinuk, Olivo. Poor Kock on the fourth line. Slave and Pesci, Shea, D'Angelo, Cole, Bear. Goalies, Anderson, and Aranta. Lawrence, Stepan, Brendan Smith is scratches. No brutal scratches for Carolina. CBJ is Line A, Sillinger, Bjorkstrand. Love to see that. Tessie A, Jenner, Voracek, Robinson, Corrali, and Nyquist. Domi, Bemstrom, Stenland. Wrensky, Bokvist, Gavrikov, Kukin, Bean, Peak. Goalies, Mers, Likens, and Corpusalo. Roslovich, the scratch. Jason Demir signed with them. Roslovich, outright scratched. Probably would have sent down Emil Bemstrom or Kevin Stenland, but, and they also sent down Shinnikov. Chicago is to bring Taves Kane, Kubelik Dot, Connolly, Lafferty, and Twistle, uh, Carpenter, Hagel, Bjor Borgstrom, I was going to say, uh, and Tyler Johnson. Surprise Hagel's on the third line. Again, the values 
uh, oh, Sam Lafferty has t three silvers for physicality, or uh, he has better line chem. It's, it's brutal. Uh, Don Jones, McCabe, Murphy, Stillman, and Gustafson. Goalie is Lankinen and Fleury. Caleb Jones. <laughs> you can't say it's not realistic. They scratched Dylan Strom for no fucking reason. My God. Could have been on the fourth line instead of Borgstrom. Yeah, explain that one, by the way, for people who think, oh, well, it's because of the X-Factors. I mean, why would Strom be there over Borgstrom? Because, again, they value uh, line chem way too fucking much. It's brutal. Jones in 88. Jones deserves the boost. He's been good this year, at least from an offensive standpoint. Burakovsky, McKinnon, Rantanen, Newhook, Kadri, Nachushkin, Joe Stalandeskog, Comfer, O'Connor, Helm, Obey, Kubel. What a goddamn team down the middle. Especially because they're playing Landeskog at, at center, which he does play center from time to time. Defense, Taves and Makar. Again, people will be pissed off that Devon, uh, Devon Taves is that good. Um, that just means you're not informed enough if you don't think Devon Taves is that good. Kale Makar has high franchise. We base it off of three seasons. He hasn't played three full seasons. He's high franchise in a 92 with 99s and most offensive stats. Suck my ass. If you disagree with that, I couldn't care less. Uh, Gerard and Johnson, Murray and Bowen Byram. Get well soon. Bowen. Kemper. Francois in goal. Yeah, how many assists? Yeah, he had four assists in one game, by the way. Might I reiterate, suck my ass. Uh, in terms of the scratches, Jacob McDonald, Jack Johnson, and Big Kurt. Oh, Dallas, who we might use sometime this year. I really want to because of that man. I want a Jason Robertson jersey. I am all aboard the Jason Robertson hype train. He's with Hinson Pavelski, Gurionov, Ben Radulov, Como, Faxa Sagan, Rafael Glendening, and totally Spanish. Uh, you got Haskin and Klingberg on defense, but who knows for how much longer. Uh, Sutter, or Suter, excuse me, Lindell, Hanley, and Hakenpa. Goalie is Holtby and Ottinger. Scratches of Jacob Peterson and Andre Sakara. Beautiful. Detroit, Verona, Larkin, Raymond. Fabry, Bertuzzi, Zadina. Man, they're playing Bertuzzi at center. Mm. He does still have the 99 face-offs that I gave some people. Um, I will make that adjustment, actually. So by the time people see this, if you download my rosters, Bertuzzi will not have 99 face-offs to stop the AI from doing that. So there we go. That's why I do this little test run before I make stuff live. Uh, let's see. Ernie, Suter, Nemesnikov, Heroes, Rowney, Rasmussen. God, that team sucks. Uh, you got Letty and Cider on defense. Is there a sub alarm? I just saw. Uh, yes. I don't know why it wouldn't have gone off. I don't know why it wouldn't have gone off. Sometimes it takes a while to go through. I'll say that. So maybe it'll still pop up. Uh, in worst case, yeah, it hasn't shown up at all. The shit glitches sometime. Trace, thank you for the sub. Ten months. <laughs> Letty Cider, Osterle, Ronick, Stahl, Stetcher. Uh, Grice and Nadelkovich in goal. Gagne de Kaiser Lindstrom. Some scratches. Edmonton is Nuge McDavid Yamamoto, Hyman Dreisaitl Pugliarvi, McLeod Ryan Cassian, Fogel Shore Sevier. I don't understand. Why can't we win with this bottom six? Uh, the defense Nurse, Bouchard, Keith, Barry, Russell, Cece. I don't understand. Why can't we win with this goaltending and defense? And in goal, Mike Smith, Miko Koskinen. I don't under... Slam life, by the way. Oh! Name change. Fair enough. Benson and Cuckoo has the scratches. You'll love to see it. Uh, the Stanley Cup champion, Florida Panthers, because that's going to happen, let's be honest. Uh, it is Huberto, Barkoff, Duclair, Verhage, Lundell, Marchment, Achari, Bennett, Hornquist, Lomberg, Reinhardt, Vetrano. They're playing Reinhardt on the fourth line. Okay. Defense, Uyghur and Ekblad, Montour, Gudis, Forsling, Nudivara. Goalies, Bobrovsky and Spencer Knight. Carlson, Thornton, and Maxim Mamin as the scratches, the mammon. The Kings rocking, Ayafalo, Kopitar, Arvidsson, Kempe, Dano, Brown, Lemieux, Wagner, Grundstrom, Athanasio, Lazat, and Trevor Moore. Defense is Edler, Doughty, Anderson, Roy, or what? Orwa, I think it's about Roy though. Mata and Walker. Can we please stop asking in the chat? Where's this player? Where's that player? In the fucking minors, probably. Goalies. Cal Peterson, Jonathan Quick. Scratches. Kapari, Velarde, Dursey. There, there you go. There's three of your healthy scratches because fuck you, Britain. Um. 
Uh, I actually need to double check uh, Kapari and uh, Velarde XFs just in case. Where's my dad? Still getting smokes and milk. Smokes and milk. Milk and smokes. Uh, the Minnesota Wild with good old Kirill Kaprizov, uh, Eric Sinek, and Matt Zuccarello. Forgot to give uh, Kaprizov switching back to gold because, again, we did some experimenting around, and that's okay. Uh, but Kaprizov will end up with gold by the time uh, this roster is available for all of you on Series S and X. Uh, Matt Boldy at a 74 is on the second line with Ryan Hartman and Jordan Greenway, which is hilarious. Felino, Goodrow, Bjorkstad, Fiala, Rask, Duhame. So fuck you, Kevin Fiala. Defense, Brody, Spurgeon, Goligoski, Dumbo, Kulikov, and John Merrill. Goalies, Kakonen and Cam Talbot. Rao Sturm and Jordy Ben as the scratches. Love to see it. Montreal, Toffoli, Pitlick, Gallagher. <laughs> Lekin and Suzuki Anderson. Perot, Paquette, Armia. Byron, Dvorak, Hoffman. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, defense is Kulak and Petrie, Sherat Savard, Edmondson Romanov. Goalies, of course, Carey Price, number one goalar. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, and Jake Allen. And scratches Jonathan Drouin, Sammy Niku, and Chris Weidman. Poor Jonathan Drouin. Couldn't make the team. Oof. New Jersey is Brat, Heischer, and Tatar. Zaka, Hughes, Mercer. Wood, Bastion, McLeod, Janssen, Gautier, Sharon Govich. Defense is Segan, Tyler, Hamilton, Graves, Severson, Ty Smith, and P.K. Subban, man. Goalies, Mackenzie Blackwood and Jonathan Bernier. I wish there was a way to turn off line cam. Me too, because it's a good idea, but not properly implemented at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, the Preds, who we were very close to using. Forsberg, Duchesne, Genoa. Tolvin and Grandlin, Tomasino, Cousins, Sissons, Trennan, Stahl, Kunin, and Johansson. So good for Eric Stahl. He got signed. Not in real life, but hopefully soon. Uh, Yossi Benning, Ekholm, Carrier, Borvietsky, and Phil Myers. Goalies, Saros, and Big Savis, Davis. Uh, scratches, Grimaldi, Fabro, Tennis Balls. Islanders, Bovillier, Barzal, Wallstrom, Nelson, Lee, Palmieri, Sezikis, Pajo, Clutterbuck, Ponick, uh, Matt Martin at center. He is one of the guys with 99s, but again, even though some people had 99 faceoffs, if the AI used them there, uh, they still don't win like 60% of their draws. I've seen it happen. That's the reason why I would use that to get an extra overall point or two out of some people. Benning isn't an 83. Yes, he is. You literally just saw him at an 83. Suck my ass. Uh, Josh Bailey on the fourth line. It's true we didn't get scratched this time, though. Uh, defense, Pellick Pollock, Green Mayfield, Chara Dobson. Chara fought a man tonight. It's ridiculous. Uh, and then Ilya Sorokin with Semyon Avarlamov. Parise, uh, Bellows, who already got hurt. Michael Dowcall. Poor Zach Parise. Couldn't make this team, huh? Oof. Oof. Even with the abilities. Even with the abilities that he might get stripped of. What are you going to do? Uh, the Rangers, the Rangers, Panarin, Zibanejad, Kako, Lafreniere. Uh, they are running Kreider at center, which I've never seen them do before, but it's better than putting him on the fourth line uh, uh, with Ryan Strom, who can play center, but let's put Kreider there. Goodrow, Rooney, Blay, Hunt, Heedle, Gautier. Uh, Bailey might be replacing Bellows, actually. Uh, defense is Lindgren, Fox, Miller, Truba, Tenorti, and Lundqvist. The goalies... Shesterkin. Shesterkin. And Georgia. Thoughts on Dallas this year? I like them. Also, Patrick Nemeth is hurt. That's a shame. I don't know if they'll make the playoffs, but the West is crazy. Meanwhile, the Eastern Conference is already locked up. Uh, Connor Brown, Josh Norris, Drake Batherson, Paul Stutzla, White, Sanford, Kachuk, third line center, and Austin Watson, Formington, Tierney, and Tennis. Defense, Shabbat, Zub, Holden, Zaitsev, Delzato, Mete. Goalies, Matt Murray and Anton Forsberg. <laughs> Scratches, Josh Brown, Eric Brandstrom, Adam Godet. Philadelphia with Faraby, Couturier, Konechny, Giroux, Frost, and Atkinson. Uh, Broussard, Lawton, Thompson. Uh, Jamie R. Hayes and Lindblom is a fourth line. They liked Tenorti when he was on the Bruins. I didn't mind him. I didn't mind him. He tried hard, at least. I'd rather have someone who's not so good that tries versus someone who is good that doesn't try. Defense, Sanheim Ellis, Provorov, Braun, Yandel, and Risto. Goalies, Hart, and Matt and Jones. 
Scratch of Sealer, Connaught, and Max Willman. Oh, Max Willman. Pittsburgh, Gensel, Crosby, Rust, Carter, Malkin, Kapanen, Aston Reese, Bluger, McGinn, Zucker, Boyle, Rodriguez. Elite one C, Evan Rodriguez. They disagree. Defense, Dumoulin. The Dumoulin. Uh, with Crystal Tang, Matheson, Marino, Patterson, and Ruedel. The goalie is Jari and DeSmith. Scratches of Joseph, Heinen, and the legend Mark Friedman. <laughs> the absolute legend known as Mark Friedman. Seattle is Gord McCann, Eberly, Yarn Crook, Donato, Jans, or Jonas Donskoy, Schwartz, Blackwell, Tanev, Wenberg, Appleton, and Shan. Defense Dunn, Larson, Giordano, Flurry, Lausanne, Carrick. Goalies, Dreger, Grubauer, Scratches. Ooh, Alexiak had hurt already. Uh, but they got Mojo and Susie. Fair enough. San Jose, Meyer, Hurdle, Barabanov. Eklund makes the team. He's with Couture and LeBanc. Gadjevich, Benino, Balsers, Cogliano, Gregor, Nieto. That team sucks. Uh, defense, Ferraro, Carlson, Middleton, Burns, Shimmick, and Vlasic, who's a 77. Got a Reimer and Hill in goal. Dolan, Weatherby, and they signed Alan Quine. Good for Alan Quine. Blues have Piran, O'Reilly, Abushnevich, Saad, Thomas, Tarasenko, Barbashev, Shen, Bozak, Walker, Sunkvist, Neil. Nathan Walker made the team. Love to see it. Might have been an injury, though. Defense, Krug, Pareko, Scandella, Falk, Perunovic, and Bortuzzo. Goalies, of course, Biddington and Huso. Scratches, McEachern. Kairou and Mikkel. <laughs> they scratched Jordan Kairou. And they're playing Bozak and G. Oh my god. This might be the worst AI we've ever had in a franchise. I'm I'm saying it. I'm saying it. This might be the worst AI we have ever had in franchise mode. It's that bad. It's that bad. They just have horribly mismanaged how the AI prioritized their team building. It should be factored in like overall and potential then like overall potential then like x factors coaching influence slate it's ridiculous instead it's coaching influence overall tampa sorelli point kucherov palat stamkos colton maroon belmar joseph uh hudon kalorn on the fourth line instead of belmar and Corey perry on the fourth line okay defense hedman chernock mcdonough ruda sergachev and cal foot well, of course, Vasilevsky and Brian Elliott's scratches at Bogosian, Radish, and Seattle Kraken legend Alex Barre Boulet. The Leafs have Nylander, Matthews, Marner, Bunting, Tavares, Kasha, Clifford, Kampf, Spezza, Richie, Kerfoot, and Simmons. Defense is Riley Brody, Muzzin Hall, Sandine Dermott. Goalies of Campbell and Marazic scratches Engvall and the Superman. Or Mikheyev doesn't make the team over Nick Ritchie. The Coov has Garland, Pedersen, Pold, Colson, Hoaglander, Horvat, Besser, Miller, Dickinson, Mott, Pearson, Sutter, and Chase on. It's actually not that bad. Defense, Hughes, Myers, OEL, and Hamannick, Rathbone, and Shen. Goalie-wise, Halak and Demko, of course. Scratches, Burrows, Dowling, and Pullman. Why is Miller line three? Hey, you're lucky he's not scratched. <laughs> Take what you can get. Vegas has Patch Ready, Eichel Stone, L O L O L, Marcheso, Carlson Dodonoff, Carrie Stevenson, Wah, uh, Yanmark Patrick, and Riley Smith. Defenses Theodore Petrangelo, Martinez, White Cloud, McNabb, and Hutton. Goalies Leonard and Brassois. Scratches of Brooks, Amadio, and Nick Haig. Shout out to Adam Brooks, who's been great in his limited sample size of Vegas. Winnipeg, Connor, Shifley, Ellers, Cop, Dubois, Wheeler, Stashny, Lowry, Veselainen, Svechnikov, Harkins, Toninato. We got Schmidt, Pionk, Morrissey, DeMello, Dylan, Abolio. Course and goal, Hellebuck and Comrie. Stanley and Luke Johnson as the scratches. And Washington, Ovi, Kuznetsov, Sprong, Sherry, Oshi, Mantha, Wilson, Backstrom, Hathaway, Eller, Dowd, and Brett Leeson. The defense, Orloff, Carlson, TVR, Jensen, Fehervari, Schultz, goalies, Vanacek, and Samsonov, Erwin and Hagel has the scratches. So, what have we learned? The AI still suck ass at building teams. 
Uh, but will one of them win? Yes, because, well, we have one in 32 odds, don't we? So, hmm.